Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aries. Thank you Lord God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you this week, Aries. All right, what's going on for my Aries this week? What's going on for Aries this week? I heard like fast movement, trying to get stuff done in a short amount of time. But when is Aries not moving fast and switching lanes and switching their mind and over here and doing that and jumping off the wall and then going to sleep for an hour, then waking up and jumping off the wall again? I mean, Aries, whew. Your sign actually says get a lot done in a short amount of time. You are Mars, you know, so you are movement. You are not monotonous. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what is going on for Aries this week. Let's go for Aries this week. Because I don't want to talk. Okay. Um, six of Swords. Six of Hold on, what is this? Six of Swords. It's focusing. Thank you. Okay. And then Page of Swords. All right. Those two came out together. Okay. All right. The small achievements, accomplishments this week. Getting, making small achievements, small accomplishments, um, setting goals, and getting them done, which is good. Learning also, you could be learning something. You're curious about something, uh, something in terms of the mind or how the mind works. Uh, also curious about movement, something about movement or moving. Um, curious about the balance or how to balance all of this out or will it balance out or the balance of okay interesting okay what's the advice for Aries this week somebody could be learning something spying on something um, trying to gather knowledge about you could even be engaging in some gossip or you could be the topic of the gossip here Something about moving or moving about, um, moving around. Let's see. Okay. The two of swords. Ooh. So in, in your mind, all of these swords, it says, take precaution in uh, cutting off loved ones. Okay. So you may be thinking about cutting off a loved one, <clears throat> cutting them out, not talking to them. I don't know if they've been gossiping about you or you gossiping about them. Could be an Aquarius. Aquarius highlighted definitely here. Maybe even a Libra. Um, there is room for reconciliation here. But there has to, like, you gotta weigh the pros and the cons about, about this, about coming back together. There's no cooperation. Somebody feels like there's no uh, loyalty. There's a decision that needs to be made. You know it. You're asking yourself the question, but you already know what to do in terms of this decision here. Somebody views you as a threat. Okay. Um, to high priestess. So your intuition is already speaking to you about what you need to do, what you need to cut away or cut out or cut off. Um, it's like you're trying to be blind to it or you're trying to turn a blind eye to something or to someone. What is this? What is the outcome here for Aries? Outcome for Aries. You feel stuck. You feel like you want to be rescued from the decision, but you need to make the decision. What's the outcome for Aries? What's the outcome? All right. Wow. The Prince of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So it's like you you want to, this is like an argument, a blow up. This is with a sister or feminine energy. Um, 
it was a situation where you found balance, but now you don't. Or you just kind of try to play the, the middle hand. Um, you try to maintain the harmony, but there is no harmony because somebody plays both sides or they take another side or they they go over to another side. There's no cooperation. Somebody wants the other person to follow them or to, uh, you know, to follow them, um, to be in cooperation with them. Something uh, about this threatens the connection or the relationship or the union, the partnership. Something is a threat. The Knight of Swords and the outcome. Somebody's gonna do something very uh, impromptu very fast, very, um, what's the word, just, somebody's trying to be quick-witted, they think they know a lot, they are intellectual, they feel like they're smarter than everybody in the room, they do know what they're talking about, but at the same time, it's just like um, with the Knight of Swords showing up. Someone is showing up very confrontational and impulsive. They haven't thought through this plan, this course of action. They just know that they need to do something big to make their point, um, to get their point across, to to um, fight their position, to be heard. Um, somebody is, has tunnel vision on what it is they're trying to bring about, too, if this is about uh, achievements and goals this is all that they see this is all that they know this is all that they sleep they eat they breathe is this thing is this vision is this this goal they want to see it done to be somebody's definitely all up in their heads this is a um, something about nurturing self-sufficiency reunion and coming back together but not sure if somebody is toxic not for you not sure if heartbreak is in the cards for you if you should just stand your ground and allow um, something to be over allow for the decision to be made for you allow for justice to handle this um Somebody makes the other person crazy. Somebody is overthinking. Someone doesn't want to be a secret anymore also. It's more so like, if I do this, then we need to be out. Or this needs to be out. I need to have a certain status. Okay, let's get you a Moonology card. Somebody feels like they need to just move on and they need to move on in secrecy in secrecy and silence. It's this a losing battle. Um, they may even be moving on with a bit of shame because they thought that they would win this, but they didn't win this. It just makes sense. Somebody's rationalizing, uh, just carrying on, moving on from this situation. They're tired of fighting. And then maybe there's another person spying on them, spying on them. So there could have been information gathered also to make this other person new areas or the other person move, move away. It's just, it's just easier to move away. This is that you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. Okay, so, um, wow. And then um, we have a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. We see that there with the Knight of Swords. Um, so somebody is definitely um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, this going to be a blow up. Okay, so some of you are worrying too much. It's going to work out for you. Stop second-guessing yourself. Raise your karma and do something good for someone else. You're worrying too much again. Um, find balance between the mundane in your life and the, um, the cosmic.
You want some truthful answers at this time. Pay attention to the details and your hard work is going to bring you results. This is also a time for you to declutter your home, your office. Okay. Like reconciling with somebody you had a big blow up with, you're not sure, you're not sure if it's still toxic. Um, good luck with this. All right, it could be a family member. Am I seeing? Am I seeing? It could be a feminine energy. All right, so this is your reading, Aries. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you.